Hey guys, thanks for stopping by, checking this out. Uh, it's been a marathon fabricating day in the shop today, and I thought I'd uh, show you guys a little progress on this uh, surface grinder that I'm fabricating up. So this is on uh, my uh, pro level uh, 2x72 grinder, but the platen holder and platen setup, even on the uh, DIY grinder, is the same. Uh, one thing you'll notice here is that I have a contact wheel set up for the top wheel of the platen and uh, one piece of fabrication that I have left to do is there's going to be a, a support standoff that comes off of here up level with this washer uh, will sit on top of this washer and there's going to be a little support that goes between the contact wheel and the platen so that when you're surface grinding it provides support this way up against your material so you won't get any deflection there. So uh, I, there's a lot of, uh, well I won't say there's a lot of surface grinders out there, but I don't think there's any of them that just incorporate the platen where you can just put in your surface grinder, tilt your platen and, and there you go. Um, so trying to integrate this as much as possible, make it simple. That way I can get the cost down for you guys and uh, give you access to a really nice uh, surface grinder. So I've fabricated up the, um, the slide and it's basically just inch and a half square aluminum board the entire length. And that's really fun on the lathe. I got introduced to my four jaw chuck. Uh, and especially for this long piece, this is about 24 inches long that I had to chuck up and lathe and bore it longitudinally and then tap it for those half inch um, 20 threads. And that will be what makes the slide go in and out to control your depth of cut on your pass. And then of course, your linear slide for across there. Tomorrow I have to pick up the uh, aluminum bar for the top and basically uh, it's a little bit different than this a little bit taller and then I have to go on the milling machine and mill out all the slots for the for the uh, magnets that will be on the face and then get that mounted up there and then there's going to be a pivot on this end and the anchor on this end so that you'll be able to just get a very rudimentary uh, uh, bevel on this so that, you know, this is exaggerated, but the bar that holds the magnets will go in and out so that you can actually set up uh, doing a, um, a taper on there. So that's pretty much it. I have uh, some fabrication to do on the mechanism on the front. Um, two guide rods that'll, that'll go in just to make sure that everything stays nice and square and then a bearing a captured bearing on the front with the wheel and uh, some uh, threaded rod half inch 20 uh, and then at, when you turn the wheel obviously that'll control your feet in and out so there it is this will fit um, this will fit uh, my pro grinder obviously and the DIY grinder and if you have a platen that is capable of tilting to this degree, um, you, you, uh, you'll be able to swap out your top uh, contact wheel, um, idler wheel for a contact and be able to utilize this. As I go on, I may swap out this upper wheel to a bigger wheel uh, that's serrated and change around the uh, geometry of the platen holder. Um, to accommodate that but for right now uh, that's the direction I'm going in and uh, so far it's working out really good probably tomorrow afternoon I'll have the fabrication done on this be able to fire it up put some uh, power to it and uh, run a blank over that and show you guys how it works you have a little handle on there eventually to make it safer so you can just grab onto it and and uh, back and forth back and forth so uh, there it is. Hope you like it. Thanks for, thanks for tuning in. Uh, by Friday, definitely more information on the DIY grinder. And you see there's just grinder parts everywhere. 
grinder builds going on and um, and the shop is blown up <laughs> because of it so tomorrow morning is a clean up for a couple of hours and then back on the fabrication of this and we'll get it done and uh, I'll put up some video of that and as well as uh, on Friday video of the uh, DIY grinder and information about ordering that and uh, how are you going to be able to go about doing that. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.